Hello good people. Welcome or welcome back to Table Talk Feed. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli, born in October 1959, was a Tanzanian politician who served as the fifth president of Tanzania from 2015 until his death in 2021. He served as a Minister of Works, Transport and Communications from 2000 to 2005 and 2010 to 2015 and was chairman of the Southern African Development Committee from 2019 to 2020. First elected as member of parliament in 1995, he served in the cabinet of Tanzania as deputy minister of works from 1995 to 2000, minister of works from 2000 to 2005, minister of lands and human settlement from 2006 to 2008, minister of livestock and fisheries from 2008 to 2010, and minister of works a second time from 2010 to 2015. Running as the candidate of Chama Cha Mapinduzi, the country's dominant party, Magufuli won the October 2015th presidential election and was sworn in on 5th November 2015. He was then re-elected in 2020. He ran on a platform of reducing government corruption and spending while also investing in Tanzania's industries, but was accused of having increasingly autocratic tendencies. seen in restrictions on freedom of speech and a crackdown on members of the political opposition. John Magufuli started his education at the Chato Primary School from 1967 to 1974 and went on to the Katoke Seminary in Biharamulo for his secondary education from 1975 to 1977 before relocating to Lake Secondary School in 1977 and graduating in 1978. He joined Mkwawa High School for his advanced level studies in 1979 and graduated in 1981. That same year he joined Mkwawa College of Education, a constituent college of the University of Dar es Salaam, for a diploma in education science, majoring in chemistry, mathematics and education. Magufuli earned his Bachelor of Science in Education degree, majoring in chemistry and mathematics as teaching subjects from the University of Dar es Salaam in 1988. He also earned his Master's and Doctorate degrees in chemistry from the University of Dar es Salaam in 1994 and 2009 respectively. In late 2019, He was awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Dodoma for improving the economy of the country. Magufuli ventured into elective politics after a short period as a teacher at the Sangarema Secondary School between 1982 and 1983. He taught chemistry and mathematics. Later on he quit his teaching job and was employed by the Nyanza Cooperative Union Limited as an industrial chemist. He remained there from 1989 to 1995 when he was elected as member of parliament representing Chato district. He was appointed deputy minister for works in his first term as member of parliament. He retained his seat in the 2000 election and was promoted to a full ministerial position under the same docket. After President Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete was requested to take office, He moved John Joseph Magufuli to the post of Minister of Lands and Human Settlement on 4th January 2006. Subsequently, he served as Minister of Livestock and Fisheries from 2008 to 2010 and again as Minister of Works from 2010 to 2015. John Joseph Magufuli was married to Janet Magufuli, a primary school teacher, and had three children together. After taking office, Magufuli immediately began to impose measures to curb government spending, such as barring unnecessary foreign travel by government officials, using cheaper vehicles and boardrooms for transport and meetings respectively, shrinking the delegation for a tour of the Commonwealth from 50 people to 4. Magufuli reduced his own salary from $15,000 to $4,000 per month. He suspended the country's Independence Day festivities for 2015 in favor of a national cleanup campaign to help reduce the spread of cholera. Magufuli personally participated in the cleanup efforts, having stated that it was, and I quote, so shameful that we are spending huge amounts of money to celebrate 54 years of independence when our people are dying of cholera. 
end of quote. The cost savings were to be invested towards improving hospitals and sanitation in the country. On 10th December 2015, more than a month after taking office, Magufuli announced his cabinet. Its size was reduced from 30 ministries to 19 to help reduce costs. In July 2016, Tanzania banned shisha smoking, with Magufuli citing its health effects among youth as the reason. In March 2017, Tanzania banned the export of unprocessed ores in an effort to encourage domestic smelting. In January 2018, Magufuli issued a directive ordering the suspension of registration for foreign merchant ships following recent incidents surrounding the seizure of overseas shipments of illegal goods, particularly drugs and weapons, being transported under the flag. Magufuli introduced a fee-free education for all government schools in 2016. Magufuli had not been seen in public since the 27th of February and rumors swelled online that he was sick and possibly incapacitated from illness. A Kenyan newspaper reported on 10th of March 2021 that an African leader was being treated for COVID-19 at a hospital in Nairobi, leading to speculation that it could be President Magufuli. Opposition politician Tundu Lisu, citing unnamed sources, but without providing evidence, said that he had heard that it was Magufuli who had contracted COVID-19 and was hospitalized. On the night of 17th March 2021, Vice President Sumia Suluhu announced Magufuli had died at 6 p.m. in Hospital Mzena in Dar es Salaam, where he was receiving treatment. She did not specify Magufuli's underlying illness, but said that he had suffered from chronic atrial fibrillation for more than a decade. She announced 14 days of national mourning and said that flags would fly at half-staff nationwide. <laughs>